So we're at the Digital Experience at CES 2011 and behind us is uh, where their BlackBerry are demoing the BlackBerry Playbook, their 7-inch tablet. Now unfortunately they wouldn't let us play with it ourselves. So uh, what's coming up is a video of one of their guys demonstrating all the different features of the Playbook. I uh, hope we enjoy it and hopefully we'll get our hands on it as soon as possible. So this is the BlackBerry Playbook. It's our 7-inch tablet device. A um, couple of things worth noting. I mean, obviously it's a very thin, very light device, so less than a centimeter thick, uh, under 10 millimeters, weighs less than 400 grams, so under a pound in weight. Um, very small, very lightweight, very portable. Um, on the outside, we've got a 3 megapixel front-facing camera, 5 megapixel facing the rear. Both are capable of capturing 1080p video. Um, once you've got that video on the device, uh, we do have a micro HDMI output, so you can take that video off and watch it on the big screen TV. That HDMI output is HTCP content protected, so if you've downloaded a high def video from a content partner and you want to watch it on the big screen, you can absolutely go ahead and do that. Um, one of the things you may notice on the face is we don't have a whole lot of buttons here. So what we've actually done is, from a technical perspective, extended the usable area of the touch screen beyond the visible area of the LCD. So for example, if I launch an app, like the ubiquitous calculator, um, and now I want to minimize this, I actually swipe from the bezel up on the device and I've now minimized that app. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, let's launch a browser session, do the same thing, swipe up, minimize that app, I'm going to go ahead and launch something else, let's say Kobo eBook store, launch and minimize. So now these are all up there running, if I want to switch back and forth between them, just toggle in from the side, I can easily switch back and forth. These are all running live in the background, they haven't been suspended. So we actually have a one gigahertz dual core Cortex A9 processor here with over with a gig of RAM. So um, basically pure multitasking, we aren't suspending any of the applications while they're in the background. They do continue to run live, so um, unfortunately because of the connectivity in here I can't show you a, a flash video on YouTube or any web content, but the video continues to run live while your application is minimized. The other big thing about sort of the Flash integration here is that we've got Flash in the browser plus HTML5, so you get the best of the web today, plus it's extensible for tomorrow. Um, from a connectivity perspective, it's a Wi-Fi device, so 802.11 ABGN, so both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz connectivity. But then if you're also a BlackBerry user, we've got, we create a secure link back to your BlackBerry. So then if you don't have Wi-Fi available, you can use your BlackBerry as a 3G modem but then also have large screen access to your BlackBerry content. So you can look at your email, your calendar, your contacts, your tasks and notes, all on the large screen. Uh, open and edit, attachments, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, being able to be really productive with the larger screen without having to worry about it. Great, so the BlackBerry Play is going to be out in the spring. You don't know what the pricing is yet. Are you just waiting for uh, Apple to announce the iPad 2 so you can set your price to compete? No, I think... What I would say is that this is a very fast-paced and moving market. Um, we do want to, we have price targets in mind, but we want to make sure that they are the right targets, and when we're ready to announce, we will. For more info on all the tablets being launched at CES 2011, and all other news, gadgets, and first look videos, take a look at our CES report at witch.co.uk forward slash CES 2011.